Lucas Gage is here. I'm so excited. You're so handsome. You're I told hot. you this. Stop. You are. You're glowing right now. Stop. You are. No, you're so cute. Thank you. Thank so people don't know that we've been like. We've been friends for a while. Yeah. I've been a fan of you for a while. No, you haven't. I, I have. think I remember the day. A year or two ago? That we like started talking. Yeah. Well, congrats on everything. Congrats I feel like to you. You're blowing up and rightfully so. It's because you're very good at what you do. You are. No, you really are. You're on e you are on every hit show of our generation. I'm like that might must feel good. Like White Lotus, you, Euphoria. I'm like five minutes in every TV show. <laughs> You're saying like the real Yeah, I'm like yeah. yeah, Lucas blink if blink and you'll miss me, Gage. No, stop. Yeah, but you're yeah. getting all these like amazing roles. Thank you. And now you're in Roadhouse, which yes. I saw. Everybody Love. can watch it on on Prime now. Yeah. And you play a very different character here. Yeah. I mean, he's kind of a little bit like related to the White Lotus character in some way. I think you a little think? bit. I think a little bit. I think that he like works and serves by the beach. He's kind of a laid back bro. He's got a Kind of a worse haircut for sure in this movie, uh, but you gotta you gotta watch him grow into his own. Yeah. So when you get this role, because you like also hit people. Yeah. Like you're like. Well, yeah. This is the first time I actually get to hit somebody back. Did I'm you usually, get hurt on the, in the movie? I think everyone kind of got hurt. Yeah. Yeah. You're, but were you down? Like, were you into I was like down. fighting? Oh yeah. 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 I mean, I think. You're not going to get hit that hard, but it's like learning a dance move and you do it over and over again. You're going to miss a step. It's kind of like that. It's like choreography. Yeah, it's like choreography. And I, I'm not coordinated at all. So I got hit a couple times. Did you get buffer for this? I think I got buffer. Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks of training. I two good. weeks? Two weeks. That's of it? Training. <laughs> for me, that was Jake a lot. Jake did two months to have like extra. Well, he has a like, 12 pack and 0% body fat. No, it's literally like I was watching and Sick. I was like. Those are body parts that I've never seen. Never. Like in my life. extra shoulder. I don't know what to call them. There's like, like another scapula <laughs> under his. Like, <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. It's like extra yeah. bones and yeah. protruding things. So hot. Wow. Yeah. What was it like working with him? He's a dream. Yeah. He's a dream. I'm, you know, huge, huge Jakey fan since I was a little boy. Yeah. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Donnie Darko is Donnie truly Darko. favorite movie of yep. all time. I mean, Nightcrawler, broke back, all of it, you know. So I, it was, it's, you know, they say don't meet your heroes. Yeah. So you should meet your heroes if it's Jake. He was, he was really good to me. Yeah. yeah. And what about Connor? Connor's McGregor. amazing. <laughs> I would be, when I was watching him and Jake fight, I was like, I know that this is a movie. Yeah. But like, I'd be scared a little bit. Yeah. You know what's funny is like, actually, he was, I did get hit by Connor. Um, on accident he was lovely but he's actually more safe to fight with than other of the stunt guys Oh, because he knows he knows how to throw a punch really well you know he knows exactly how to do it and how to control it so he kind of was like the best person to fight with wait how did you get hit oh when there was like a brawl or yeah, something I that brawl thing at the oh my husband watched this with me because you're like there's gonna be fighting like yeah. you know how to get yeah, men yeah. into he movies there's gonna be some fighting like conor mcgregor yeah and he was like, wow, he's such a good actor. <laughs> he's like, he's Connor's gonna get he's like, he's gonna get so many offers he's now, probably. He's literally good in the movie. He's good he's in the a movie. Scene stealer. Honestly, he really is good. He is good. I'm not even just saying that. He's actually excellent in the film. Yeah. 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 He steals the movie. You guys had a lot of, and Jessica Williams is so fun. I love Jessica Williams. She wanted to come today, but she has to work. Oh. Huge fan of hers too. So anyway, Roadhouse is really good, you guys. You should watch it. Let's get back to Lucas, okay? And how you became you. this, you like, <laughs> why? You're like, everyone go watch it, okay? Let's get back. <laughs> we'll get back to Roadhouse, too. But I want to, I want people to learn more about you because you okay. popped up in, in our lives. Yeah. Would you agree that for some people or, like, there is a percentage of people out there that found you through the Zoom most viral most people I think most people yeah I don't really think, yeah i think i think i had a familiar looking face and then they were, couldn't figure out where they knew me from and then they saw that video and that was yeah that was and you had no intention to remind people it was 2020 yeah it was covid actors were doing uh home zoom auditions which you still do now i feel like people yeah. leaned into doing that yeah we do it now still and lucas was doing a an, an audition and you heard the director. The director didn't mute, and he said something about 
something about my apartment, my living space, and you know, I didn't even know. It's not that bad. It's, it's not. That I lo- bad. I'm looking at the picture. Like, what did he see? There's a black mirror. There was a nice little wall with some d- yeah, it was fine. It was it was really fine, and I don't even know if he meant it in like a I feel bad for him. I'm trying to be nice way, or if it was like I that's a bad apartment. But I didn't think it. Whatever you know, whatever interpretation he had of it, it was a uh, it was a shocking, surprising moment that I I you know I've had way worse things said to me in an audition. Yeah, than on camera, you know. Did, wait, did you record it because, like, you just record your no, auditions? No, so what we had to do is we had to film ourselves, edit the video, upload the video, send the video, do the lighting, find a reader. I mean, it was just, like, such a nightmare during COVID. So then on top of that, I had that happen. But, yeah, no, I wasn't, like, secretly filming. We were asked to film. Yeah. Just because, like, if the Wi-Fi was bad on Zoom. No, know, no, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So then he says, like, look at these apartments these yeah. actors are living in. And, yeah. And then at that moment, were you prepping for the scene or was it after you did the scene? It was immediately before starting the first Oh, my. Scene. Wait, did you end up doing the oh, audition? I did all of it. Yeah, I did all of it. Did it not, like, ruin it for you? No, I think I, like, would try to even throw in little improv funny lines about, like, the apartment. Oh, you the did scene. that? Yeah, I did. I did. It did not get me the part. <laughs> Do you, can you tell us, like, what part it was? I, I don't even know if the show went forward. It was just a network TV show, a comedy. Um, It was before The White Lotus. Everyone thinks it's The White Lotus for some reason. Yeah. It wasn't The White Lotus. I just was a little tipsy in Hawaii when I posted it after. When I- you wrote, you wrote PSA if you're a shit-talking director Make sure to mute your shit on Zoom meetings. Yeah, I could have said it maybe a little bit better. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's funny the way you wrote it. It's like the way you spelled meetings. Yeah, I think I, I, there's it's like M T G I N G S. Yeah. No, but funny. how viral did this go? It went. It went viral. It went very viral, really quick. And you had no idea this would happen. No idea. Absolutely. You just posted it because you were like, this I mean, I thought like I thought it, through my friend group yeah. it would. I thought we would all share it and have a laugh about it and. You know, I just didn't think it would go that big that I, I just did not expect it to be that huge. But I mean, obviously, I I knew what I was doing, wanting to see other actors connect with it and be like, wow, we're in this shitty situation together and this is weird and this is horrible. But I didn't, you know, there I didn't name him. I didn't want to drag. the. Did pers- he ever reach out to you? He reached out. Yeah. yeah. Did he say like, sorry? He did a public apology. Oh, he yeah. did. Yeah. He oh, did. so he like we people know who he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. There's okay. no hard feelings. Like honestly, yeah. there's literally no bad. And blood. it wasn't like look at this ugly motherfucker. It was like about no. your house. No. Yeah. And so like it didn't like aff- did it offend you though? I don't think it really offended me, and I I I just thought it was funny. To did be you honest. move from that apartment? I did move from that <laughs> apartment. I st- I suddenly I did start to judge my apartment for the first time ever, and I was like, is it a shitty apartment? Yeah. Did I should I have not painted the wall that? What did I do? <laughs> but no, it wasn't. I did start to. I got a little bit of PTSD when I came back from Hawaii yeah. after posting the video, and I was just alone in my apartment again, and like hearing his British voice reverberating in my ear all the time. <laughs> oh, but but you moved from that apartment. I did, yeah. And now you're doing Zoom. I'm in, in a much nicer place. I'm assuming it's still a studio apartment. <laughs> I just had to change the walls and make it a little bit. I mean, uh, did you see Drew Barrymore's apartment? People are humble nowadays, director. Listen, I mean. Their whole article's about it. Drew Barrymore posted from her house and people couldn't believe it was her house. Really? I didn't see that. Yeah. Drew's cool. Yeah. So she's like keeping it. She's keeping it very simple. Yeah. So a lot of people found out about you through this. Yeah. And then you're saying people thought it was White Lotus because they thought like you got White Lotus through this. I remember people were like saying stuff online like, Oh, that's his hotel room in White Lotus. And I'm like, uh, I'm the Four Seasons. It better not look like this yeah. the Four Seasons. But I think people were like, oh, that's Mike White. And I'm like, Mike White's not British. Yeah. Um, so there was a lot of speculation of that's why I got White Lotus. How quickly after that did you? It was a month or two after. So it's like rejection is protection. You know what I mean? Because I don't think that show really, I don't know what happened to it. But yeah. If I booked that show, I wouldn't right. have been able to do White Lotus. You so you had a, at that point, did you already audition for White Lotus? No, I auditioned waiting? for White Lotus right afterwards. I booked White Lotus, and then a couple weeks later, we're filming. I got a little tipsy. I had a conversation about uh, our worst audition stories with all these icons, and then I don't know something. Something in my head was like, do it, post this post thing, it, do it. So, but you did, got no hate on it. Like it wasn't like a risky thing. It wasn't, but it could have. You know, I could have. 
got backlash. Yeah. People could have been pissed. And I, I think, you know, and then I was like, but what were they going to be pissed about? Yeah. They be pissed at me, but your head plays all these tricks yeah. on you. And um, yeah, I definitely have a impulsive streak. So when you got White Lotus. Yeah. Did you, because today it's like, why well, everyone's yeah. foaming, yeah. foaming. Right. Were you foaming? Did you know that, have any idea this was going to be as huge? No, you don't know. You never know. I just knew if it's Molly Shannon, Jennifer Coolidge, right. all the rest of the iconic cast, and then Mike White, who I've been a fan of since forever, since truly, I mean, since I was a little kid. So I just knew it was going to be good, but you never know. Like, Euphoria, the same thing. It was a pilot. We didn't even get picked up the series. White Lotus was a series. So I knew at least it was going to be on air. Euphoria, we didn't mm. even know if it was going to go on air. I love learning all this industry stuff. Yeah. So what? So when something's a pilot, you don't know if it's going to get picked up. Yeah. That was Euphoria. Yeah. White Lotus was a series, meaning they, they approved it, it before you even shot the first episode? Yeah, they they approved all the episodes. To air. To air. They knew it was going to go to air. It was supposed to be a limited series, not go for a second. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then the success kept it going. Oh, they called it... Because that always interests me, too, yeah. whenever I'm like, is there going to be a second season? And you're like, no, it's damn it. It's a limited series. So they can change it. Uh-huh. Yeah. If it does successful enough. Uh-huh. You know. Yeah. So you were on it. Did you get FOMO, like, second season? Now they're talking about the third season. Like, yeah. are you like, ugh, I wish I... Well, I think it's public knowledge, but they had a lot of cast members come for second season. So mm -hmm. we all got to go to Sicily and hang out with the cast mm -hmm. and then have a little flashback moment. Where they saw us, they ended up cutting it. Aww. But uh, who cares? We got to yeah. leave for free to like the four seasons. And you had that the famous scene with Murray, mm -hmm. who was like amazing. He's so good. He's truly really one of the best actors of all time. Of all time. He's amazing. Yeah, loved it. Um, and then seeing him in the in the Last of Us, like yeah. just really heartbreaking. So good. Yeah. Um, and you had that really. I remember being so shocked with that scene. Like you didn't know it was gonna happen, and then it yeah. and then it happens. And you were a little bit nude. Yeah. Fully. Um, I think there was a little cock sock. I don't know what they call it. What do they call it? Cock sock? <laughs> I don't know. You My tell me. My pelvis is like shaking no, in the back. No. Uh, I, I, yeah, there was a little sock around But there. we saw your butt. You saw my butt. Good butt. Yeah, you, you weren't into your butt, I read. Uh, no, I just, I realized it's a little square. Yeah. A little sharp corners. <laughs> I wish I did some more squats or worked out a little and bit did more. Did you round it out since? I, I've been doing a little bit more legs. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's getting a little... A little more circular. Were you, were you comfortable in that scene? Like do, nudity stuff? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think I'm pretty comfortable. I don't really care. I you just, don't? I don't really. I mean, especially if the story is really good and it supports it. And I feel like. Like, would you run around with like Barry Keough and. If it was a really good movie. In, uh, yeah. in Saltburn. Saltburn. Yeah. yeah. If it was a great script and a good director, like. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I do it. Yeah. Who cares? We've also, I feel like guys have, um, we have some making up to do for all the times. Faux show. You know, we, that's it. why it's so shocking to us. Like we've been conditioned like, okay, tits, you know, and, yeah. and then it's like, you see a penis and you're like, oh my God, right. like this is crazy. Right. But you do have some making up to do. We do. More we do. penises on more, screen. More, more, more. <laughs> I agree. I, yeah, Not it, enough. It was great. I, I loved it. I mean, Marie and I, we, we were the ones who improved it to be rimming. It was originally just sex. And we were like, eh, let's make it more fun. Stop. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. We wanted to pick it up a bit. And we just thought it would be funnier and also a little bit more honest for the character. Like, I feel like, yeah, I won't go into detail about my backstory about rimming, but yeah. <laughs> what's the backstory? <laughs> no, on I was rimming? just thinking like, you know, like he's, you know. Uh, Wait, for people who don't know, what's rimming? Um, It is oral sex for the butt how do you would you say it i don't know oh like like ass, ass eating. eating yeah okay yeah oh okay i forgot that it was ass eating what did you think rimming was <laughs> what did you think, what did you think it was I don't know. that's why i was like for people that don't know wait what for so it people. was you <laughs> So, me, I'm people. Amanda doesn't I'm know. I'm people. I don't know. I pictured you giving him head. I, that's what I remembered. No, no. Was, you could also rim that. I don't know. You could rim a lot of things. No, I think it's just Okay, head. fine. Yeah. Um. Okay, so is that. And then you were saying, I saw somewhere you were saying your mom was like thought it was really funny. I was into it. I, I mean, she was surprised by it. I think she wanted a little bit of a warning. I didn't tell <laughs> you didn't her. Tell I was her. just like, I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know. I should have warned her probably, but... um. Yeah, she did. I think everyone always asks me in interviews, like, what did she do? Did she care? I'm like, no, it's my butt. It's not like I'm. Yeah. I, just, I don't think um, 
it was that big of a deal. I think she yeah. thought it was. She just loved the show so much that it didn't matter. I could have Barry Keegan did, and she would have been like, "Really? Oh, That's yeah. so cute." Yeah. So she's super supportive. Yeah. Um, okay, so we were gonna go way back before, but do people know that you went to like film camp every summer? <laughs> What's film camp? Is it nerdy? It's really nerdy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I loved it. I went every summer. I never wanted to leave. Um, and so some, film, not theater. This was like what, yeah. like camera, like yeah. It was some like LA bullshit, you know, like <laughs> some like you go to make a little movie, you make a ten minute short, and then there's like an acting academy, and then there's a you know a camera part of it there's like this whole thing so i i did the directing and editing and i wanted to like make these zombie films at camp from what age was this oh, i was like eight to 13 i would say really yeah. so that was your interest and your parents like went with it like yeah. it came from you it came from me yeah it came from me and then i would just do weird stuff like send agents resumes and headshots oh me like, too my house you did that too yeah yeah i don't know what i was going for <laughs> being a star which you are <laughs> like uh, sign me represent me i didn't know like what anything was i was like i need manager pr like i but didn't you know did what it anything too. was i did I it it's a nor like i don't think it's that crazy of a thing for kids to do i feel like you figure it out especially if you live close enough to la or new york like, yeah just like I'll f uh, yeah. i fucking I, I remember printing a headshot of me yeah from the computer that comes out all pixelated and gross putting in an envelope because they say like no solicitation i'm like yeah. i'm gonna solicit <laughs> you know yeah i'm find out your address i'm gonna solicit you're gonna pull out this pixelated pic and you're not gonna know what to do yeah you're gonna be like she's the thing yeah so see that's why and i talked about this on another pod yeah and i want to know what you're gonna say yeah. delulu is now a thing mm -hmm. but like i've been delulu and we've been born delulu we born came out delulu. Of the womb, delulu exactly so you agree you need a little yeah. bit delulu. you need a lot of bit you need, delulu. you need a lot you need a lot i think where, where are we gonna say you well, i was just gonna say i just I, sorry to cut you up but i remember the unsolicited thing that they used to write on everything Do you remember <laughs> that like no unsolicited <laughs> i never even knew what that word meant as a kid. i was just <laughs> so like I, was, I, was, I just i got a flashback of that <laughs> Yeah, what does that mean? I, I might have looked it up to know. It's good. And then I was like, oh, poster. they're just saying that for the people that they actually don't want. Yeah. But when they see this, they're going to So want you it. were doing that too. You were sending mm -hmm. shit? Yeah, I was sending shit all the time. And then my parents would pick up the phone and be like, they didn't know what to do. They were like, <laughs> who is this? And then finally, I just made I made her take me to an audition and I booked the first one. Shut the fuck up. Warts commercial campaign. Warts? MW. For kids? Warts for kids. Where, really? Yeah, swear to God. And you got it. I got it. They did a wide search and I said, I need to do this. Wait, a wide search? That means like, like they went all a zillion over. kids or No, probably like a hundred. I'm just making it sound cooler than it was. <laughs> <laughs> they, a wide search in San Diego. Yeah. I think they went to San Diego and LA and needed someone to run on the beach and say W. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. So that was the beginning. That was the beginning of the end. And then did you do like theater in high school? And No, I think I was really, I got too cool for school and just like smoked a bunch of weed and didn't pretended I didn't like acting. And then people would see my commercial, my warts commercials and be like, that wasn't me. I'd, Stop. Yeah, I would be really shy about it. Stop. Yeah, so I, how'd you get back into it? I, um, I tried college for three months. Where'd you go? University of Oregon. Yeah. Yeah, I was a duck. Uh, what does that mean? Is that a sports thing? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, you were. Well, what is that? Wait. I don't know. Were you on a team? No. Oh, you were like a fan of the ducks. Yeah, they just like said like go ducks. That's <laughs> their mascot. <laughs> you just yelled it out to be cool. Yeah, just to be cool. Yeah. I never went to a game once. But Oregon is kind of you because it's also like smoke weed. You know? Yeah, you know? I was really like still in that era. I think. Yeah. And then um, I picked my school by. A, being a weed smoking oh really school. yeah Wait. do you remember college board did you guys have that no it was like this website where you could see like different statistics about this oh school. yeah 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 so i love that i was like 65 percent smoke weed cool that's was where it, i'm Boulder? going i went to ithaca okay yeah cool so um well so it was cool too yeah. anyway so oregon oregon three months three months go I ducks said, i gotta go ducks <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, go Ducks. And then I said, let's go to L.A. and just do this and try it. Stop. Yeah. yeah. And so how long, what What year was that? God, it was, what, 2013, 2014? Really? Yeah, I think. No. And you say, like, the, the moment you really started blowing up was after the pandemic. So you had a lot of years. Yeah, I mean, look, I... We're doing, we're getting jobs. I was getting jobs here and there. I still was waiting tables and you, you know, were yeah i was doing all like oh i did every catering event in town really oh my god i do the it's grammys so though. like it's so 
um, I don't know if the word is quintessential, but like it is. It is so quintessential. It is. Like, how is it exactly? It's literally that. Yeah. Like the catering event. Yeah. Like there are no other jobs. There's just like you do the like that's what people that want to be actors do. Because yeah. you think you're gonna mingle and no, I don't even think you can mingle. Uh, it's, I mean, you can mingle, but I think it's, I think it's just it gives you the flexibility to hop on a job, and it's like mostly the weekends, and mm. then you have the week to audition, and you can say yes or no. I like the, there was this um app that would ask you like the day up, do you want to do this? And if you were free, you could. And, and if yeah, you wanted, yeah, that, I think that's maybe why. But also yeah. like yeah, great people watching. Yeah. Oh my god. But not good. like hi, I'm Lucas. I'm trying to be an actor. No, no, yeah. no, no. But I remember screaming at amy schumer at the emmys i just watched her episode with with you and like was she nice she was so nice so what'd like, you scream like you're hot and then she was like whoop, whoop. wait when you were working it yeah stop yeah. i was like 21 wow yeah delulu delulu look you where that be. gets you um anyway you worked <laughs> with such cool people and um and now white lotus is coming back by the way do you think do you think because I said at some point that, like, all the press on it, yeah, it's, like, getting a lot. Yeah. Well, you it's know? a hot show. Yeah. No, I know. But it's, like, so-and-so was cast as assistant producer. You know what I mean? Like, everything yeah. is making deadline now. Yeah. It just makes me laugh. Because, like, I don't want people to ruin a good thing. Yeah. You know, by I being too, too, much too all over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, do you think it'll keep getting better, White Lotus? I think whatever Mike does is going to be amazing. Every season is going to be beautiful and funny and hilarious and weird in its own way yeah would you die to go back I'd do anything yeah my soul yeah right now so do it for soul. free do it for free stop hands down yeah get to hang out the four seasons in thailand yeah, yeah. so fucking awesome yeah okay so you've said in past interviews i'm pretty open book about most things in my life mm -hmm. but i have a problem with the culture of everyone needing to know everybody's business and nothing can be sacred yeah you kind of said this in regards to sexuality mm -hmm. you even mentioned former agents pressuring you to pick a lane look it, things happen and stuff happens and it's just life and uh yeah i think the thing that i tried to stick by kind of changed and that was important to you though yeah at the time it was you know i think i wanted to to be proud and like not feel like i have to hide something and be i don't know i was just also tired of people like asking like what are you who are you you know it's just like oh my god shut up already yeah. why do, like you know why do we ask straight people like what are you are you like you know it's just yeah. like such a thing especially with press stuff so i just i think part of that was me wanting to just be like all right let's just do this and shut people up already oh you mean when when people learn that you yeah. had a relationship with a man yeah but before that so many times i would get you know there were rumors about you and at f people thought you were dating katie maloney who you're friendly yeah. with and yeah. you were just on once what Time was live people thought you and mud mud apatow yeah. were like super together yeah. like any woman you hung out with there were also rumors that you were together well some of them weren't rumors oh yeah which ones weren't i'm not gonna say I really can't. well i those two were not okay were actual rumors okay um which but, one claudia no i can't i really okay, can't. You can't say. i really can't say but uh but what you're saying is you've had relationships with, with correct women. yeah yeah until about like 21 and then something shifted oh okay so but since maybe, 21 no, no. Yeah, never, never say never never I'm say open. never oh uh, yeah maybe you're i'll have a open. wife or a husband next who knows but, but you <laughs> but you you're saying the thing about former agents pressing you to pressuring you to pick a lane yeah. that you didn't want to conform to you're saying well i just thought why do why do i have to pick a lane for what reason are we acting shouldn't everybody look i get the conversation about you know representation and making everyone feel like they're being seen and and there's a fair field for everyone to have roles and there are certain things that i don't think we should cross over and let people do but then there's also like I don't know. It's just a fine line where I think everyone should be able to play what they want. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. There are some little like subtleties that I, I do think that only people that um, actually represent that group should play. Yeah. You know, but you never officially like came out. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Which does that feel like liberating? Does that feel like there's like a I mean, I think it's pretty it? I think it's pretty obvious, <laughs> but I am. I mean, everyone saw I'm not, it's, I just yeah. feel like I hate. I don't know. I just hate having to be like, this is who I am. Right. And I'm never, you know, we're constantly changing. Things are changing. And um, 
God, we're getting we're getting deep here. No, and with acting, I see how people. I can understand there's a little bit of fear that goes into it. Especially 10 years ago. Right. Now it's yeah. changed. Now it's changed. But 10 years ago, you were told you should not tell people that. Yeah. You don't want people to see you in one Except light. Except like straight people gay. Play, straight people gay. Straight, straight people, people gay. play queer roles all the time. True. Yeah. 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 Um, it was just it was kind of more of a thing 10 years ago yeah. to just. You know, and there's also another element of like, as an actor, you want to be an enigma. You want to be right. Like, I can see you that. You want to be a little bit of a mystery. So. Like you don't want people to know your age. Even. Yeah, you don't want people to know everything about your. Yeah. You know about your personal life, so they can get lost in the character and they don't see you know exactly X, Y, and Z in their real life. So that's just so hard when you become like a celeb. It's such a hard line to to navigate where that line intersects because you are a public figure, right? And you do have. You know, you do kind of have a responsibility to to show up for people. And I do get that. And I do want to be a role model for other people out there that are maybe struggling and figuring it out. But I also want to keep the mystery alive. And I want people to get lost when they're watching me. Yeah. You know, I think you do a really good job Thank with you. that. Thanks. I try. I like try, you, like so many different characters, like here you are in this movie Roadhouse beating people up. bro as hell. You know, so bro So bro -y. Even when you're like, you like, I was waiting for you. Because at first you were beating people up, and I was like, I want to hear him. Yeah, like, you know. And then we were like, you're super broy. Yeah, super fucking. And then bro next month I'm in like a Netflix show as like a slutty cat. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, I literally play like a slutty cat. No, I'm dead. Powers. Like yeah. a, like a human. Yeah, like he's a human who turns into cats. That's literally my power. No, I'm dead. Yeah. Dead well, you're booked and busy. Trying. Booked and fucking busy. So no, but I really agree with you about being a blank canvas. Yeah. For acting roles, but I also think. It doesn't even get lost with the responsibility for me. How I would think about it is like, like there is that crave to want to be like, to have the celebrity part of it. Right. Mm -hmm. To get to go to the events and like, you know, not just be a working actor, but you know, have the, the, the huge celebrity thing that comes with it. And that comes with people wanting to know everything about your life, like being into who you're dating and what you're doing. And it's so, just part of the game though. It's yeah. like not even about going to the events. It's like all politics and like going to some of these things and doing these things or sometimes stuff that you have to do right. to promote and to like get to the next you know, thing. Yeah. It's kind of a weird, no, I agree. I hate going to events. I hate it so much. You hate it. I'm so like all over the place. <laughs> I'm changed. I'm literally a different person every three months. I hate it, but so I can't say, well, I really, you're also young. Yeah. I'm all over the place, man. And you're keeping busy. So like, yeah, yeah. Life's about moving. Yeah. Just life's about moving. moving. Um, you actually just went to a vanity fair party, uh, uh, called Archie Madekwe. <laughs> Did I just fucking butcher his last no, name? That was good. Thank you. Thank God. I'm so bad with last name. No. Um, from Saltburn. Yeah. Good so you called him your new husband. See, you do. Dude, you do I'm shake just, things up. I'm, I know. You do I, it. I, I'm trolling the T. I'm trolling TMZ. Like well, they're just in your face asking you questions, and I'm like, Oh, they ask you. Oh my God, they're like, Is this your boyfriend? Is this your husband? Is this your boyfriend? Is this your husband? Over and over. I'm like, Yeah, this is my husband. I'm like, Yeah, you're being Jesus, funny. I'm being funny. And yeah. I'm, the next minute, an hour later, I see you it as clickbait, funny. and I'm yeah. like, Oh God, now everyone's gonna take it seriously. And then uh, wait, I, did you go with him as friends? Yeah, I've been friends with Archie for a really long oh, time. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's my really good friend. Yeah, oh, okay. love him, love him. Whatever. So some press out of it. It's not I a just, biggie. Like, need to sh well, shut my mouth. <laughs> no, and not say things as a joke to no. the paparazzi because it just everything is taken seriously. I know you can't joke around. Just, you can't even joke like around. Just, what was it like Emma Stone? Oh my god, something. I loved when she fangirled over you and was like, "I love your podcast." Pinned. Yeah, I know pinning is so lame, but you got to do it when it's oh, Emma Stone saying that. that was you know, iconic. But she said something like a Taylor Swift thing. Yeah. She was like, what did she say? And I was like, we can't have funny people. She said, um, yeah. oh, she, they were like, what do you think about Taylor? Like, you know, being happy for you or something. And she was like, she's the worst. Yeah. Then it's like, I must, and it's like, Swifties the thing her. is, they know that she's kidding. Right. They're but, best friends. Like they hang out all the time. Right. Yeah. But I feel like also the media knows, like they were there. Of she said it they jokingly. They, they knew when I was saying that he was my husband, yeah. I was totally kidding. They just want to run an article. Yeah. And I need to not. Give them the benefit of I know, to but do it's that. still a little fun. It's but funny. Who gives a shit? Are you dating though? No, single, dating myself. Are you wanting to date? Mm -mm. No. I just I no. I mean, look, never say never. Like yeah. I said, if the right person comes, but but you're not on apps. Not anymore. No, I tried that for a minute. It was not not. Wait, is that where you met the ex? An no, app? I think it was no. It was like a party five oh. years ago. Yeah. No. Um. No. I just am. 
just wanting to date myself for a bit and I Lucas, really, I don't think that line is for you. Date myself. Oh God, I know. I I really have no, no way to like. I have no <laughs> leg to stand on with that line. No, you I'm can't so do that line. Shit. It's not you. Well, I we just, need to find a different thing. I was okay. I'll just say freedom's freedom's nice right now. You're I, chilling. I'm chilling. I'm good. I like. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. But, yeah. Yeah. Like if you meet, like you're down. I someone said the seven husbands of Lucas Gage. I saw that online somewhere. So yeah. It's me, and I'm like, hell yeah. Wait, how? Because you had only one. No, how because are we I, oh, seven? okay. So I said something like I said something in an interview, and I said something like I'm probably gonna have six more marriages. Oh. Like, I'm gonna be like Elizabeth Taylor of our day. Oh. And then someone <laughs> said the seven husbands of Lucas Gage as like a book. Or, Wait, I, what's your what's your type? I literally, I'm not just saying this. I don't. I. It's so across really? the board. You don't have a type. I don't have a type. Really? I'm all over the maps, like crazy, really? complete, like muscly, anything, lanky, truly, all of it, all of it, all of it. No, yeah, I don't have any, um, any particular type. Truly. So I wanted to ask you though, would you get married again? But you just said that you would sure. seven more times. Seven more times. She's not over it yet. Yeah. Um. So I wanted to ask you also about Roadhouse. Yeah. A couple questions that I <laughs> that I didn't yet. <laughs> <laughs> we're jumping all over the place here. I love you. Wait, were you a Patrick Swayze fan? Did you watch Dirty Dancing? Dirty Dancing is the best. And also Donnie Darko, Patrick Swayze. Right. I know. My I babe. Really <laughs> love Jake Gyllenhaal. Love Patrick Swayze. Love that they did a movie together. I do think it's really cool that he kind of passed the torch to Jake. Yeah. And I feel like Jake does a really good job of respecting him and honoring I need to watch him. the original again. Oh, it's so good. You know what's so weird? Huh. That I even watched the original. <laughs> Like you ever know, like you ever like classic, think though. about movies, but like how old was I? Like mm. thirteen, watching right. Roadhouse, like yeah. people beat each other up. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like I look back at movies that I've watched or shows. I remember like Queer as Folk. Yeah. Speaking of queer, as we were before twenty minutes ago, I watched Queer as Folk when I was literally fucking like thirteen. Yeah. Then I saw the hot one. Oh yeah. Remember the guy that played yeah. Brian? Yeah, like hot. OG OG. Yeah. On the street, and I was like, "Oh my God, Queer as Folk!" And he was like, "Why are you watching this show? You are not. The you are not." But that's what's so weird. Even Dirty Dancing, I was trying to do that move. Yeah. When I was like seven. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we were babies watching these, watching these shows, and it's just so weird to think about. I think that some of them just, they just hit. You know, like there's just a reason why they stick with you as a kid, and they're such classics. Mermaids was mine. For yeah. Me. Do you remember that one with Shrek? Yeah, of course. It was so good. It's so good. Christina Ritchie is like a little baby in that. Well, that's why like with Road like this Roadhouse, mm -hmm. I feel like the the the, the concept is very because like some of it stuck with the, with the original and it yeah. is a remake. Like it does have that like old school energy yeah. of like this guy comes to town and even the girl like the girl's there, there's like that femme thing going yeah, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. they're not gonna probably like be together you know what i yeah. mean there's just that vibe of like those kinds of movies yeah sometimes i even thought i was no it's i knew it was gonna happen i was like she's gonna save the yeah she, and then she doesn't save yeah it. you know what i mean yeah but that's i think that we wanted to we wanted to make it really fun and and just a movie to be fun for the sake of being fun not yeah like you know roadhouse doesn't have a really deep message to yeah it. it's not trying to tell you something or whatever it's just yeah. It's really entertainment. Right. It's no, there's no depth. Yeah, there's not. I mean, <laughs> there's no, no depth. Just kidding. You're seeing no, the headlines. Just like literally you're seeing the headlines out. Lucas Road Gage House says no, no depth. depth. Yeah. No, I get what you mean. Like you're not, it's not philosophical. But yeah, it doesn't have to be. Sometimes yeah. movie can movies just are be just fun. Like, yeah, they're entertaining for the sake of being entertaining. Yeah. You know? I love that. Who doesn't want Jake Jalen Hall like half naked jumping around and fighting? We people? all want it. Yeah. Back to you loving Bravo. Yeah. How did you even become friends with Katie? I think I just Oh, I know what I did. What'd you do? I threw a party at TomTom Tom and I asked Katie if we could have the whole cast work, not work, just when hang out. When was this back in the Dizzle? No, this was like a year and a half. No, ago. stop. Yeah, a year and a half ago we threw a party at TomTom. Tom. She was still with Schwartzy. Mm, she no, was not, but she did not. She kept a tight lip. Oh, so you didn't know? So you asked her. Why don't you ask him? I think that we were already DMing about oh. something. You know, I think that there was already some kind of opening there but yeah i just said hey i'm throwing a party is there any way you guys can all come and hang and like we'll rent out the room and tom tom and she wait did you choose tom tom for the gag yeah okay not because like like not, what not because i love tom tom <laughs> okay. i love the goat cheese balls like, like 
like, so you wanted it because you're like a fan. Yeah. That's yeah, so funny. Yeah. So everyone came? Everyone came except for Sheena Shea. I asked her to sing Good as Gold and she did not. She what? Was she was busy. It's fine. It's very unlike her to not take up an opportunity. I, I would have died if she You would have died? Oh my God. I love Sheena Shea. Wait, do you love Vanderpump that much that you watched The Valley? I, I tried. Yeah. I couldn't. Do you know that I agree with you? But and I I got through it. Yeah. But like I asked people what they thought, and people were impressed. They loved it. Yeah. Not for me. I know. I think because I think when you love Vanderpump that much, and you're like, you know, yeah, you're diehard. Yeah, you're, you just can't. I'm as old Vanderpump, like seasons one through three, with like Laura Lee and like just <laughs> Kristen Doty. Like, some what about what was cigarettes. her name? Like Vermont. What was the other one's name with the V? Vermont. No, it's Vermont. not Vermont. No, but I, it was. You know what I'm talking name. about? Yeah, it was a name like that. She was like a long hair. Yeah. And like, God, who was I forget that? what her thing was. God, that like the first three seasons of Vanderpump is art. The editors should have won an Oscar. I, I think know. in my life, like th they. But you wouldn't, it. you wouldn't give up on it. Like you're gonna. No, like finally this season was a it was a rough start. Yeah. It was a rough start to the yeah. season, and thank God it's coming back. And yeah. Having a little heat because I was I was ready to tap out. I saw you told um. Katie, that she should forgive Sandoval. Forgive, but not forget. Oh, forgive, but not forget. Yeah. I want to forgive you, but I want to forget you. <laughs> I want to forgive you because what? You think she's holding on to like. I don't know if I think she's holding on. I just think for her own peace of mind, she should forgive. Yeah. It's not even about him. No, she hates it. She's like when she's when she got emotional. Yeah. You know, and people are like, oh, she's being a hater. But she, you see that she's getting emotional. Yeah. You know, and this yeah. isn't about Ariana. No. anymore no. you know this is like a personal totally thing for yeah. her like she truly thinks that this person fucked her shit up not that yeah. she wants to be with schwartz like she made that no. decision she ended it but i guess like it's still it's still there do you hate sandoval like when he comes on the screen do you want to die or I no if i hate him i'm just so over this redemption tour for him and like mm. that's the only storyline we have this season is to like feel bad for him and yeah He's just a bit of a narcissist and doesn't really take responsibility or really say I'm, sorry. I'm here. I'm ever. taking accountability. I'm like, dude. That's just, what I'm doing. The biggest advice I would give to him is just fucking say sorry, even if you don't mean it. Just lie. Like, it's not that he like, can't do it. You're like, you didn't you try to be an actor? Like, like do the you, thing. Didn't you try? Do the thing. I'm sorry. I said I was sorry. It's yeah. just like, I'm just Something's over wrong. it. We need to. And just that whole storyline of him, like, winning everyone back. It's just, who cares? Okay. Couple games. Yeah. Mary Fuck Hill. Okay. Sandoval, Schwartz, James. Uh, Mary James, obsessed. Really? Yeah, I really, really can. Like with always James. or like now? I like even from the beginning when Stop. he was problematic. Okay. I was still like, I oh, God, he's so funny. Yeah, he's so funny. Yeah. Uh, fuck Schwartz, I kill Sandoval. Really? Yeah, duh. Okay. What did you do? No, no, I'm interested. Like, are you choosing to fuck Schwartz because you hate Sandoval? Are you more attracted to Schwartz? Like, that's what I'm trying no, to I think figure Schwartz out. Is Shorts is hotter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I, 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 I did say this season. My sister was really shocked. I was like, Sandoval's looking good. You can't take away the hair. Mm. Like he's is not for me. Not for you. Not so for see, me. you have a type. I guess I it's do. Not Sandoval. I guess I do. <laughs> it's not Sandoval. I'm a personality. Yeah, the personality has to. If it, you have a rotten personality, yeah. I'm like turned off. Okay. If you had to pick one show to go back on, mm. you Euphoria, White Lotus. I think Euphoria because I don't think that storyline's finished. Mm. I think that he needs to get his revenge. Okay. On Nate. I just whispered his revenge. Yes. Yeah. Manifesting Delulu. Delulu. Let's put I'm it out so there. Delulu. I love you, Lucas. I love you Thank too. you for coming I'm on. So glad to meet you finally. Me too. You're the best. Kisses.